Hello everybody, my name is Emma. Welcome to today's video, which is going to be a reading vlog for the Wildflowers Duet by Makalia Smeltzer. The video is actually already filmed, it's already edited. I just have to do an intro and I have to do my outro. This video you're going to see is going to be separated in two parts. Basically clips of me reading the book, reactions, raw reactions and then at the end i'm going to do kind of a spoiler filled discussion i have spoiler free reviews of these books on my goodreads and on my instagram so i kind of thought i'd take the chance on youtube to kind of be a bit more in depth before we get into it don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video if you are interested don't forget to follow me on instagram tiktok goodreads wherever all the links are down below i think that's it for now let's get into the vlog so hello besties it is april 3rd i am going to start confidence of wildflowers i'm really excited i am very nervous because people are crying with the end of this book and that's why i didn't read it when makalia very kindly sent it to me because a lot of people were reacting very intensely to the ending and i suck with cliffhangers i actually refuse to read cliffhangers just because it's gonna ruin the enjoyment of the story if i don't have the second book right away or the third or the fourth but i was very fortunate enough to get the e-arc for book two so i can jump right into this as a little side note i'm going to be using these tabs for the very first time and to be honest i was debating if i should even keep them because i love these greens and these blues but on the other side, apart from this yellow and this pink, I feel like these three are so similar that I'm basically, I have like four times these three colors and I paid for basically the same colors. And like, there's literally barely any difference in these colors. Like you can't even like, there is, there, there's like no difference. I feel like I paid for nothing. Either way, I don't know which colors I'm gonna use for the book today. I'm trying to see which ones I should use. I think maybe I'm gonna use this beige because it kind of matches one of the flowers here. And we'll do that. Nobody asked about this. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Trying to find copy free write music has been a struggle. So I think I'm just gonna voice over this little clip of me reading. Um, literally the last line of the prologue literally shocked me so much. It was not what I was expecting, but it was fun. It was cute. It kind of set the tone. Um, now that I know what it meant, it's way more impactful. So I definitely recommend going back and reading it. Hello, besties. I thought I would give a quick update. So I am at page 132, and I'm enjoying this. This is super cute. It's super interesting because yes, it's an age gap. Yes, it's kind of of like a you know father nanny yes it's a next door neighbor yes it's a grumpy sunshine but i think at its core it's like two kind of broken people finding each other and it's going to be that classic what i'm assuming is like right person wrong situation i don't know what the conflict is going to come from if it's going to be their age or situation if it's going to be her because she's dealing with a lot but it's so nice in the sense that I know that they have so much potential to heal each other and to be there for each other and be each other's comfort and be each other's like safe place. And I want them to find each other in that way. It's already starting. They're both hesitant to open up to each other, but I think it's because both of them realize that if they open up to each other, they'll never stop opening up to each other. And it's wrong for them to open up to each other the way they want to. I don't know if any of that made sense, but I'm really enjoying this. Honestly, the writing is super easy and the chapters are super short, so I'm reading this faster than I thought I would. I honestly think I could get a good chunk of this done tonight. I don't think I'm gonna finish it tonight because the Grammys are on, I'm gonna be watching the Grammys, but I'm really enjoying this. Also, I like the tabs. It kind of matches very, very subtly with the cover. I put them really, really at the edge, edge, edge. I don't even know if you can see that, so I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna jump back into it. Hello besties, it's a bit of a weird angle, but I'm in my washroom very quickly because I have some quiet in my house. I'm gonna do a quick update. I am at page two, 336 in confidence. I have about 100 pages left. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really, really enjoying this. In the beginning, I think I was having a bit of a hard time connecting because I didn't really know where the story was going. The writing is super quick in the sense that the chapters are really short and I just felt like the pacing was pretty quick. I, in my head, I came in thinking it was going to be a very slow burn and it's a lot quicker than I thought. So I think I, I just went in with the wrong expectation. So it just took me a minute to like fully throw myself into it. But now that I'm fully thrown into it, I'm enjoying it. And I'm really, really enjoying it. First of all, the title appears in the book, which I love when that happens. There has to be one of the most observant, understanding, heartfelt, genuine, caring book boyfriends I have ever read. This man listens to everything Salem says. He listens to every word, every emotion. He observes every word, every emotion, and he makes sure that she is there, she is heard for. It is beautiful. It's like I said before, these characters are healing each other, and I don't even think they realize how well they are healing each other. I don't think they realize how well they complement each other. I think Salem does. I think Thayer, it's taking him a bit longer to realize just how much they are each other's soulmate. But it's definitely coming. I will say I'm very scared about the ending. I feel like I have a theory on what's going to happen, what's going to cause the big issue at the end. But if I'm wrong... I have no idea where this is gonna go, which makes it more exciting if I am wrong, because I wanna be surprised. I'm just really loving this. I'm really, really loving this. I'm giggling so much. I feel like my cheeks hurt from how much I smiled yesterday. Just, ugh, I'm having such a good time. I'm very excited. Okay, hello besties. I have, I'm at page 370. There's 
430 pages. I was debating on when to start filming it because everybody says there's a very emotional ending. I was like, oh, like I'm gonna know when to start. The main character, the female, she just said, nothing good ever lasts, right? That's the sign I needed. I'm gonna start filming now. I don't know how long this clip of me reading is going to be, but let's hope for some interesting reactions. Hello besties, it is Editing Emma here. I was trying to find a cute way to present my reactions without any sounds because I do have some pretty vocal uh, reactions, but I didn't want you sitting here watching me for 27 minutes, which is how long this clip is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it down and show you just the reactions, just the really imminent reactions. Um, I think this should be really cute, it should be really funny. It's gonna be a lot of screaming, so beware. And yeah, so let's see my reaction to the last 60 pages of The Confidence of Wildflowers. <laughs> what the f What the f What the f What? What the f I sort of f God. Oh my fucking god, like, I don't- <laughs> Oh my god! Ah. <sighs> what the f <laughs> What the f Stop! No! She's fucking- Oh, I knew it! No! I fucking knew it! Oh my god. Hello besties. So I finished confidence. Obviously that was like an hour ago. I'm in my room now. I have my pajamas on and I started resurrections. I literally jumped right into resurrections, the e-arc on my Kindle. I am already 17% in. I feel like I'm going to get a good chunk of this done tonight. I cannot explain my utter shock in the first three paragraphs of this book. Three paragraphs. The first three paragraphs had my jaw on the floor. These are my reactions. It was insane. It was insane. I am so excited. I just know that the way that Makari is going to put them back together, they're going to be stronger than they were even before. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited. I will be back tomorrow morning with another update. Hopefully I haven't finished the book by then. Let's cross our fingers. Good morning, lovelies. It is, I don't even know what day, what time. I don't know anything other than the fact that I got 70% of the way into this book last night. I could not stop reading. I finally forced myself to stop at a part that like wasn't a cliffhanger or wasn't like leading up to something. We had just like resolved a conflict or whatever, so we were jumping into something else. I'm like, this is the perfect time to go to bed. I'm really enjoying this book so far. It 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 keeps changing my head because I like to think throughout a book what I'm gonna rate it. Sometimes I'm like this can potentially be a five, sometimes I'm like, no, this is a four point five. Sometimes I'm like it's a four point twenty five. I don't know. It's kinda like going all over the place. I don't know officially what it's gonna be. I will say that I think this is one of those books where if you don't agree with what the character did or is doing, it's gonna impede a little on this potentially being a five stars. And I don't know that I fully agree with some of the decisions that were made, but I understand them. So I'm enjoying it. I think if I didn't understand them at all, I really wouldn't enjoy it, but I do understand them. I'm just really excited for these people to be happy because I nobody deserves happiness. Like, nobody deserves happiness more than these two characters. So I shall see you when I'm done the book. <laughs> Hello, besties. 
it is two hours later and I have finished Resurrections. How do I feel, you ask? Happy. I feel very, very happy. I don't know. I just, I think I really appreciated the story and, and the message and kind of just this idea that love is love and healing is healing. And no matter what way your story comes to be, as long as you're happy at the end of it, that's all that matters. Obviously, I have opinions and some things that I didn't necessarily love as just the way it works with reading. You can't, even things I give five stars, I'm critical on. I'm just very critical when I read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit on my opinions, sit on my thoughts a bit. I'm going to either come back and do like an official rating and review tonight or tomorrow. It's Tuesday. This video is going up on Thursday, so I have time. <sighs> this was good. This was really good. Hello. So I finished the duology. <laughs> Today is actually Friday. I finished the duology on Tuesday and I said I was going to film either Wednesday or Thursday. It's Friday. I got kind of lazy the last few days. It's been so long since I filmed the intro. Um, it's been 38 seconds. But for you guys, it's been about 10 minutes. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope it was interesting. So like I said, this portion of the video is going to be a spoiler filled kind of review of the duology. If you haven't read the duology yet and you don't want spoilers, click out, you go to my Instagram, my Goodreads. I have spoiler free thoughts on both of those. I'm going to give you guys a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching if you're leaving now. <laughs> sorry, I had a bit of technical difficulty. So sorry for the angle change. So like I said, confidence, book one. I, at first, I honestly, it took me a little bit to get into it. I don't know if it was the writing, if it was the characters. I don't know what it was, but for the first like 40, 50 pages, I was like, kind of like, okay, where is this going? And then I really got into it. I honestly really, really enjoyed this. I really, really liked it. I know some people were kind of on the fence because of the cheating that happens in this book. Honestly, I don't mind cheating. I actually kind of enjoy cheating. Usually not in this sense because Caleb was a good person. I just usually enjoy cheating because they're they're getting with someone who's better for them. They just don't have the means to be with them in a non-cheating matter. But I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. So I think that I know that some people had an issue with that. I honestly did not mind it. I didn't even give it a second thought, the fact that she cheats. I kind of forgot until someone brought it up to me when I was talking to them yesterday. I will say that this is not a slow burn. I know that when I was going into it, I think one thing that threw me off a little is that a lot of people say, oh, it's a slow burn. Like, by halfway through this book, they're together, they're sleeping together, they're physically and emotionally involved. I don't think that that's considered a slow burn, but I didn't mind that because I don't necessarily love slow burn, so I enjoyed how fast things went. I was really, really loving this. I was really, really enjoying this. And as you can tell from my clips, I really was scared about the ending, which is why I put it off for like nearly a day because I didn't want these characters who I had grown so attached to to face any sort of trauma. But that they did. That they did. So it is so funny because when I was in, in that clip where I'm in the washroom and I was like, oh, I have a theory. I thought that what was going to happen is that her mom was going to die. And then she was going to kind of have a freak out at the fact that she like lost her dad, who was an asshole, but then like lost her mom, who was like a saint. And then she was going to kind of just go into like a self-sabotage moment. I thought that was going to happen. No, he loses his son. Like what the actual fuck? I, I did not see that coming from a, like a mile away. Forrest dying was about the last thing that I could have guessed in terms of what was going to happen. And not even the fact that he dies, but it's the way he dies. It's when she's sitting on that roof and they're talking to each other. And it's when she says, the pool. I, I don't think you can understand the way my heart sank. The way my heart sank. And the way that Makalias wrote that scene in that Thayer jumps in, comes back up with just a shoe. And that's kind of the confirmation that like the kid is in the pool. But like he has to jump back down to get the body and then come up. And then Salem is there like, no, he's gone. Like no human can come back with how blue he is. And then, you know, you have Thayer just going at it, you have Thayer yelling, you have Thayer screaming. It was such a dramatic and insanely writ well-written moment in that you felt every single freaking emotion from the ex-wife coming in to her mom coming in to the police. To, it, it was just insane. And I'm kind of mad about the ending because I go from being really, really sad to really, really pissed off because when she goes to see Caleb in Boston, I cannot explain to you guys how pissed I was I was so mad and not in the like oh like oh like this is so funny no I was really mad like I, I I it felt like cheating to me which I know it wasn't but like your boyfriend who you love just lost his son and your first thought is let me go to Boston to get in bed and sleep with my well not physically but just like have a nap with my ex-boyfriend who I cheated on with the guy who just lost his son like it just felt like a really 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 weird and strange decision I don't know Kind of what the point of her, why she was thinking that, like why Salem thought this is who I need to go to. I don't know. I, I didn't really agree with that decision. Um, it was kind of hard to get over. And then you get to the end and that whole scene where Thayer's, Caleb and, and Salman, Salman, Salem are fighting outside. When she throws up, I knew she was pregnant. I was like, watch her be pregnant. And then when she goes to New York and she takes that pregnancy test and it's confirmed that she's pregnant. 
I was happy for about two seconds because I was like, oh my god, like she's gonna go find him. But then when she says that, she kind of alludes to the fact that she's not gonna go find him. And then when I like registered the fact that it's a pregnancy trope and I hate the pregnancy trope, I was like, fudge. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this. Like I gave this 4.25. I had a lot of fun with it. The way that they are... <laughs> The way that Thayer is just like the greatest man I think I've ever read about. I, I did enjoy this. I really, really did. I think that there was just some decisions in the end that like, mostly Caleb. I just I just didn't like Caleb. I think that he was way too prominent of a character for the role that he played in the story. Sorry again for the angle change. Um, but I have the my exact same thoughts of what I just said about Caleb is the way I feel about Resurrections. Personally, I just felt that Caleb was way too prominent of a character. I don't know if we were supposed to like him. And I know some people did really like him and, and they liked the way that he was respected as being like that extra parent. But like for me, I just hate exes always. I can never like an ex. I just, for whatever reason, like even if the ex is like a sweetheart, I just, I won't like them. First of all, okay, let's go back to the beginning. The way that this book starts. I put the clips of my face early in the video when I was talking, when I started Resurrections. So the very first picture is when I read that it's been six years. I lost my F in mind. You tell me a six year jump. I, I did not expect that. And then when she talks about the fact that she married Caleb, even though she had divorced him, I was like, what the actual F and F is this? Um, I really, I think from right there, I knew that this book wasn't going to be a five star. Anytime I thought, oh, potentially five stars, I was like, she married Caleb. And it's not to say that like, if you marry someone else, you're a divorcee, you're like, you know, you're damaged goods. Not at all. That's not my point. It's just like, she knew she knew Thayer was the person. It felt very wrong. It just felt wrong. As much as I didn't like Caleb, it just, it still felt like she completely manipulated, completely mistreated him, completely abused his love for her. And the same can be said about her keeping the pregnancy a secret. I think that she had a very good reason. I just can't see myself ever like keeping it a secret, especially with the type of childhood she had where she knows Thayer will be a great father. But then I think that I'm like, but when she last saw him, he wasn't going to be a great father. So like, I don't know. Honestly, like that, I was ready to overlook. Like her keeping it a secret, especially how remorseful she is throughout the book, like I was ready to overlook it. My biggest issue really with this book was Caleb. Not only his mistreatment in the beginning, but the fact that he stays in the book the whole entire time. I totally get, first of all, like he helped raise her daughter. And I understand that he deserved a role in her life, the daughter's life. I totally get that. I'm going to be honest, I'm completely blanking on the daughter's name right now. I totally get that. But I think at one point I was waiting for Salem to like put her foot down and be like, listen, this is my daughter. Thank you so much for helping her. You can see her whenever you want, but like she's mine. She's his. This is our child. And I know what you did was commendable and I appreciate it. And, and she will, you will always have her in your life, but you do not have a claim to her the way that we have a claim to her. And I think I was just waiting for that kind of conversation to be had between them. When I say I have so many thoughts on Caleb, I mean I have so many thoughts on Caleb. This is literally like a four minute clip of me just discussing him and his character. I'm gonna spare you. Let's just jump to the end of the review. <laughs> so I also gave this book 4.25. To be honest, when I think about the duology, Confidence is probably 4.5. Resurrections is probably a four. But I don't like rating the first book in a series or a duology higher than the second book in a duology. So 4.25 felt pretty good for both these books. Thayer and Salem really are an amazing, amazing, amazing couple. Their relationship was amazing, amazing, amazing. And for them, I cannot, I cannot speak more highly of them. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully we feel the same. If we don't, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on any other social media that will be linked down below. That is it for today's video. I will see you next time. Bye.